the first part that uh, takes care of mixing the oxygen and the nitrous oxide uh, is based on a very simple idea that the constriction uh, causes significant pressure drop. So basically, if you'd like to mix oxygen and nitrous oxide, we can use uh, what's called uh, a needle valve. And this needle valve is uh, operated by uh, changing the distance of this needle from the uh, opening right there. And basically, depending on where this needle is uh, placed, the amount of uh, flow here will be different. So basically, when you change that, for, uh, for example, for oxygen and for nitrous oxide, we can control the level of mixing between the two. In order to know exactly how, how, how the mixing ratio will be like, we actually add uh, something called a, a flow meter, which is basically a, a something called a bobbin. A bobbin basically is a float, like a float device that actually uh, is uh, 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 levitated by the uh, by the flow from here. So basically, the, the gas flow will have a force, uh, will exert a force on this uh, bobbin. And basically, uh, the bobbin is, uh, uh, rises to the level that is... Uh, uh, that is uh, basically um, in balance with the kind of uh, forces that are received from the gas flow. And basically we can uh, have a, a, a different markings here on this, uh, uh, on this uh, tube, taper tube, so that we can know from the location of the bobbin, uh, the flow rate is, uh, is uh, the, the value of the flow rate is uh, how much. Basically we, we uh, adjust the, the, the the one responsible for the nitrous oxide and the one responsible for oxygen, we can actually adjust the mixing ratio between the two. 